Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have an important topic to discuss for all the expecting mothers out there. I'll be diving into the signs that indicate your baby's head is down during pregnancy. Knowing your baby's position is crucial for a smoother delivery. So, let's get started. The importance of baby's head position. Before I continue with the signs, let's briefly understand why it's important to know if your baby's head is down. The ideal position for childbirth is when the baby's head is facing downwards, known as the cephalic or head down position. This positioning allows for an easier passage through the birth canal and reduces the risk of complications during delivery. Now, let's explore the signs that can indicate your baby's head is down during pregnancy. It's important to note that these signs are not definitive proof, but they can provide valuable insights. Always consult your healthcare provider for accurate confirmation of your baby's position. Sign 1. Pelvic Pressure the first sign to look out for is the feeling of pressure or a sense of heaviness in your pelvis. As your due date approaches, you may experience increased pressure in your lower abdomen. This pressure can be an indication that your baby's head has settled into the pelvis, preparing for birth. It's important to remember that every woman's body is unique, and the intensity of pelvic pressure can vary. Some women may feel a constant pressure, while others may experience occasional sensations. If you notice a noticeable pressure or heaviness in your pelvis, it could be a positive sign that your baby's head is down. Sign 2. Belly Shape The second sign to observe is the shape of your belly. When your baby's head is down, you may notice a change in the appearance of your belly. It may appear lower and more protruding at the bottom, while the upper part may seem flatter or less rounded. Of course, it's important to remember that each woman's body shape is unique and the shape of your belly alone may not be a definitive indicator of your baby's position. However, if you consistently observe this lower and rounder belly shape, it can be a positive sign that your baby's head is down. Sign 3. Relief in Upper Abdomen A third sign that can indicate your baby's head is down is the relief you may experience in your upper abdomen. As the baby's head descends into the pelvis, it may no longer press against your diaphragm, allowing you to breathe more easily and providing a sense of relief in the upper part of your abdomen. However, it's important to note that this relief may not be felt by everyone, as the positioning of the baby can vary. Some women may experience relief in their upper abdomen, while others may not notice any significant change. Consulting your healthcare provider is crucial for accurate confirmation of your baby's position. Sign 4. Kicking Sensations the fourth sign to pay attention to is the sensation of your baby's movements. When your baby's head is down, you may feel more frequent and distinct kicks and movements in the upper part of your abdomen. This is because the baby's limbs have more space to move around in the upper area, while the head is engaged in the pelvis. It's important to note that babies can still move around in the womb, even if their head is down. So, while increased movements in the upper abdomen can be an encouraging sign, it's not a definitive confirmation of the baby's position. Sign 5. Location of Heartbeat Another sign that can provide a clue about your baby's head position is the location of the baby's heartbeat. Your healthcare provider can use a Doppler device or a fetal monitor to listen to your baby's heartbeat during prenatal checkups. If the heartbeat is detected lower in your abdomen, it can indicate that your baby's head is down. However, it's important to remember that only a healthcare professional can accurately interpret the baby's heartbeat and determine the precise position. Relying on this sign alone may not provide a definitive confirmation. Now that we've discussed the signs that can indicate your baby's head is down during pregnancy, it's important to remember that these signs are not foolproof. The only way to be certain about your baby's position is through a medical examination by your healthcare provider. If you have any doubts or concerns about your baby's position, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. They have the expertise and access to advanced medical tools, such as ultrasound, to assess your baby's position accurately. Sign 6. Ultrasound Examination Speaking of medical examinations, one of the most reliable methods to determine your baby's position is through an ultrasound examination. During an ultrasound, a trained technician will use a handheld device called a transducer and gently move it over your abdomen. This device emits sound waves that create an image of your baby on a monitor. 
The ultrasound technician will be able to identify the position of the baby's head, its limbs, and other vital information. This method is highly reliable and can provide you with the most accurate information about your baby's position. To summarize, the signs that can indicate your baby's head is down during pregnancy include feeling pressure in your pelvis, observing a lower and rounder belly shape, experiencing relief in your upper abdomen, feeling distinct kicks in the upper part of your abdomen, and detecting the baby's heartbeat lower in your abdomen. However, it's important to consult your healthcare provider for accurate confirmation of your baby's position. That wraps up our discussion on the signs that indicate your baby's head is down during pregnancy. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Remember, every pregnancy is unique, and the position of your baby can vary. Always consult your healthcare provider for accurate assessments and guidance throughout your pregnancy journey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more pregnancy-related content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, moms-to-be.